Whenever I'm in Bowie, I always watch Sports Junkies. No matter what's going on, I throw everything down and watch Sports Junkies. I just can't get enough of it. Turn that dial, stay tuned for a while, because we're about to get funky. We are the Sports Junkies. <laughs> Welcome to the show. This is the Sports Junkies, the show that everybody in Bowie's talking about. Why? Because we throw, wreck, dissect, reflect, and give you our sports intellect. <laughs> we're never boring, that's why our ratings are soaring. Welcome to the show. This is the Sports Junkies, where we tell you who's been fired, who's getting hired, who's going to win, and what's under our skin. It's that time of year, but have no fear, because we're here to bring you that holiday cheer. <laughs> my name is Eric Bickle, sitting in the hot seat this week for my man J.P. Flame. You well, think USC is going to lose to Notre Dame? I think USC loses at Notre Dame, yes. I don't think there's a chance of that one, but that's, that's your own pick. Hey, you got to have an offensive line to support this guy. I mean, Kajana Connor's going to go out, and he's going to get killed in Cincinnati. Yeah, he, he could very well get hurt uh, you know, in the first day of, of, of the year. Phil Regan, Jason. Uh, uh, stiff as a manager and would probably be working the streets in another two months. Sports junkies, we haven't always been right on time with our picks. Next up, you'll see sometimes where we haven't been right on the mark. Sean, <laughs> take it's it rare for us. Though, guys. Ricky Waters, mark my words, will get hurt in Philadelphia. Okay? <laughs> he will get hurt. He's gonna, his knee will get crushed. I see the Phoenix Suns doing some damage. This is it, probably for Charles Barkley. Yes, he's retired two times. <laughs> this is his last chance. I don't know. I see them going to the finals. Okay, next we're going to the golf. USA over uh, the Europeans in the Ryder Cup. It's not even going to be close. The US, uh, U.S. guys are dominating the major events this year. Forget about it, Europe. They're going to kill everybody. Penn State's going undefeated. It's a, <laughs> it's a joke schedule. None of you guys have loyalty like E.B. has loyalty. John. <laughs> Well, I, it's probably predictable. You know I hate bandwagoners, but I really hate fair weather fans. <laughs> Look at the turfs. I hate people who don't stick with me. I had the faith. I told you the turfs were going to do it. They're looking at 5-0 and at the time this uh, show airs. I, I'm looking at 8-3, and possibly 10-1 and this year. I hate people that don't have faith in the turfs. <laughs> you guys aren't giving the turfs any props. Come on, man. Peace. Well, let's go to the turfs. I know how Dick Vitale feels now, JP. I can barely stay in my seat. Turfs on fire. fire. I'm looking at the schedule. I know I predicted 6-5, and five, but but I'm going to revise it. <laughs> I'm telling you, brother, I'm thinking, I'm grasping at 10 and 1, maybe. We're always going to talk about the Terps. You can tune into the Sports Junkies to get all kinds of recruiting news and scoop. What's going down with the Maryland coaching? What's going down with who they're going to get next year, who they're going to play, who, when they're going to win? We're not all about prognostications. We also like to entertain you sports viewers. That's why you should tune into the Sports Junkies, because JP does some uh, funny stuff sometimes. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. We are feeling groovy, but we also have stuff under our skin. Vic's going to kick it off with his under our skin segment. Okay, game five, Yankees Mariners. Randy Velarde, Paul O'Neill, Wade Boggs. These guys can't put bunts down. What's going on? Because of their ineptitude, and, and because George Steinbrenner spent so much money trying to bring a world championship back to the New York Yankees, <laughs> I'm making a formal offer to you, George. George, even though I batted only 163 my last year of organized baseball, I'm willing to offer my services to you. I'm willing to be a sacrifice pinch bunter. If you need my services, please contact my agent, J.P. Flame. <laughs> Jason, what's under your skin? You ever watch the fabulous sports, babe? She's on ESPN2 from 1 to 2 in the afternoon. She's on WTEM from 12 to 2 in the afternoon. Let's ban the fabulous sports, babe. She's 4'9", 285 pounds. She played right tackle for the Dolphins, I think, in the years past. She's terrible. She doesn't know anything about sports. She's an entertainer. She wears these sunglasses. They're half off, half on. What, what's going on? It's all tuned out on television and radios at that time. It's a following. No more sports babies. What's under my skin? Buddy Ryan. <laughs> this guy is horrible. The buffoon. He, he's terrible. He came into Arizona last year. I remember the first words out of, out of his mouth. You got a winner in town. This guy hasn't won anything. He went 8-8 eight eight his first year, which is a major disappointment. He's 0-3 in the playoffs as the Eagles coach. Yeah, he won a Super Bowl ring, but Mike Ditka was a coach, not Buddy Ryan. He's scamming the people of Arizona. They have the most people sign up for season tickets right now since they came there in 1988. Over 50,000 people paying for this inferior product. <laughs> Dave Craig got yanked in his home opener. 
Buddy Ryan is under my skin. He's a terrible coach. I don't think he's going to last till the midseason. Let me tell you what's under my skin. You see these? <laughs> yeah, every player puts them on. Let me put one on for you right now. <laughs> Am I breathing better? <laughs> I don't think so. What is this facade? What is this breathe a sure thing? I wore it earlier today, and let me tell you, I was out of breath after having it on. Don't put these things on. Ricky Waters, Jerry Rice, what are you thinking? Are you getting paid millions of dollars to sucker society into wearing these things? Breathe a sure, I think not.